Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy's back and I done did it again. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to install Laravel, okay, on Windows 10 Bash Ubuntu. Okay, so how do you do this? Very simple. One thing that I'm going to say before we even start, this is the requirements. You're supposed to have Ubuntu, all right? Ubuntu installed. If you don't have install, install it. You also need to have MAMP installed. If you don't have MAMP, go ahead and install it. I have it on my channel too and on my website how to install these things. And also, I'm expecting for you to have MySQL Workbench installed. All right? All right. So as far as settings, all of my settings are I'm on Apache 8888 those are the ports and your next 8888 my sql 3306 which is the default and that's about it now to get started what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the ubuntu okay i'm gonna close this up start it up from scratch for you guys so in here search ubuntu all right and i have this tutorial on the website codingface.com slash tutorials you could go to uh, how to install laravel in windows 10 bash ubuntu in case you need it to you know all of the commands and everything that you need is already here written okay so what we're gonna do is first of all we're gonna copy this put this here okay you're gonna click enter put in your password And all of these things are already installed, so it might take a while. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna click yes. I'm gonna pause it. Next thing that you're gonna do, you're gonna copy this, copy it, paste it, press enter. Then from there, what we're gonna do, you're gonna come in, copy this, paste it, press enter. Okay. Next thing you will do, copy this paste it press enter okay so what that does is install uh, PHP 7.1 and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy this and then paste it here then press enter and after it finishes running it's gonna install PHP 7.2 or whatever is the latest version okay so next thing that you're gonna do is make sure you have PHP and check what version you're in PHP.7, as you can see, mine is 7.2.5. Okay, now the next thing that you're gonna do is install Composer. Okay, so to install Composer, you're gonna copy all of this. Okay, and you're gonna copy it, paste it here. Okay, you're gonna go like that. It's gonna download everything. Now, the very first time that they install Composer, it takes a, a long time to install for whatever reason then at the end just click enter you, that's it you have composer so if you come here and say composer dash V okay it tells you all the information of composer and here you go okay now the next thing that you want to do is you want to copy this okay this is to install Laravel on Composer, okay? So let me scroll down. You're gonna paste this in, hold on. Make sure, for some reason, Control C, Control V doesn't work in this, but what does work is if you right click into your mouse, automatically you paste it in, okay? So you click there, click enter, is gonna install Laravel. Okay. It's already installed all the latest ones, so this it says nothing to install or update because it has the latest one already. So the next thing you guys want to do is you're gonna copy this and paste it here. This is to change the directory from the root to the C drive so you're gonna go 
from there now we're inside of our C drive we click LS okay so we're fine now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna create a new folder I mean for me I already have a creator which is called projects if you guys decide to put all of your projects inside of a folder named projects then you can do that right you follow the step that says make directory projects and then you change into that directory of projects okay so all you have to do is copy this paste it here uh, hold on copy okay and press enter that will create a new folder called projects then after that you are gonna go change directory to projects okay click ls this shows you all of the projects inside of your projects folder okay now next thing that you want to do is create a new project for laravel so come here as you can see it says write your project name here so we're going to delete this here what you're going to do is you're going to put in whatever the project's name let's say for this one we're going to call it test okay so you can see you got the latest version of laravel so after that give it a second i'm going to pause it okay so we finished installing everything that we have for uh, the laravel project okay now we're going to change into that directory remember i named the test so i'm going to say cd test all right and that's what we just did here the next thing that it says created my sql database for the application i use workbench uh but you guys can use um regular php my admin to do this i'm going to teach you guys how to do it with both ways you're going to come here this is my sql workbench you connect to your database okay now you're going to right click down here create schema you're going to put in test okay and what you're going to do is you're going to look for utf8 mb4 and as you can see see utf8 mb4 click there click apply and you see it says create schema test test is the name of your database okay so that's how i named it okay so i click apply finish there you go so as you can see we have our database here also you can do it through uh php my admin just in case you you don't have workbench you can come here copy this and here you go php my admin and to do this you click on new you put in the name of the database so let's say i'm gonna put in test 2 and then look for utfa mb4 utfa mb4 and just click on the regular one which it says bin okay click create and that's it that's your database there so you're fine next thing that we're gonna do we're gonna have our text editor we're gonna go to open folder projects we're going to go into test which is our laravel project okay all right now what we're going to do here hold on let me close this up so we don't get confused we're gonna look at this again okay so we have this section now you can do this two ways all right to put in your information for your database okay you're gonna go to you see this dot emv dot example you can duplicate this here and just make a copy but rename it to dot emv without the example okay just in case you didn't get that copy on mac automatically this is copied for you but for whatever reason this doesn't do it through uh, ubuntu okay so here what you're gonna do is you're gonna come here you're gonna come leave this things empty 
put the database name you're gonna put in the name of the database which is test you're gonna put in username root password root okay you're gonna save that all right then after that basically as you guys can see from there what we're gonna do is we're gonna do php artisan migrate refresh okay and we're gonna do that inside of our uh, test folder okay make sure you are already inside of the test folder okay we're gonna paste this in make sure you copy and then right click automatically it paste it so php artisan migrate refresh click enter now if you bump into this error right which is telling you hey specified key was too long and this this and that what you want to do is you want to come here it says here you know just copy this function copy it look for this file app providers right so it's app folder providers folder then app service provider okay replace the boot function okay just paste this in okay paste this in save that and then now run this one more time php artisan okay it's telling me can i find the schema so now we're gonna say use schema save that okay it's telling me the table already exists if that happens for you guys what i would do is literally just delete okay delete the tables the whole database of test okay drop the schema drop do the same thing that we already did create schema put in test apply there you go apply finish now do this again php artisan migrate refresh and as you can see everything went good so you're good to go the next thing that you want to do is literally go to your map go to preferences change the web server okay change the location of your web server okay and then now we go to this pc this local c drive okay local c drive and then find your projects folder then find your test folder and click ok this is gonna refresh your whole server okay and now we go to localhost 8888 okay so this is working fine just make sure it's actually your public folder okay click test run through your public folder okay press ok let that refresh takes a little time but at the end it's good okay it says no application encryption key has been specified all right so what we're going to do next is we're gonna say php artisan okay we gotta generate a key okay so where is it so we say php artisan key generate okay now let's refresh this and there you go now we have our application working perfectly 
this is how you have to do it with windows 10 bash ubuntu guys i know it takes a while but it is what it is when you're using a windows computer <laughs> all right guys i'll see you guys later it's your boy joe back at it again codingface.com i hope you guys enjoy this type of videos let me know in the comments below if you got any questions send me an email send me some information about yourself and tell me hey this worked for me thank you joe all right i'll see you guys later bye this video is brought to you by codingface.com and all of its members make sure you go visit the website it's the only place where you're going to learn how to become a web developer with real projects take it from me it's your boy joe back at it again codingface.com keep it real keep it trill